Hello everyone, and today I have a brand new video for all you people. You thought we were done with Reed Chain of Memories, but now we are not done yet. You know what I mean? Here's what I mean. Take a look. Is that? Is that who I think it is? Yep, it's Riku. You see, after you beat um, Cha Reed Chain of Memories, you unlock another story mode. Reverse, rebirth, and you play as who else? Riku. And we're going to start the game as Riku. I'm gonna play on standard mode. I hope the thing is good for all you people. I hope it's good. This is my second time recording because I got a phone call. So, um, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go on my computer and look some things up while all this cutscene plays. Not gonna lie, that sounds pretty creepy. You should remain asleep here between light and dark. Isn't that gray? What? Huh? The king. Where's the king? Together we close the door to darkness. What about Sora? After that? You came drifting here by yourself. Sleep. You I'm some kind of demon. I'm actually amazed they said that in a Kingdom Hearts game. Turn from the light. Shut your eyes. Here, blanketed by the darkness. Sleep is safety. Sleep is eternal. But... And it's Hollow Bastion. It is a door to the truth. Take it and your sleep ends as you take the first step toward the truth. But know this, the truth will bring you pain. Will you still go? There is no return to the security of sleep. This seemed like a boring place to take a nap anyway. Um, wouldn't you want to take a nap in a boring place so that way you can sleep faster? I'm just saying, Riku. That statement makes no sense. And Riku is now in, um, is now in, um, is now in Castle Oblivion. Sorry about that. I got distracted. But anyway, now we're now starting to play as Riku. And if you think he's a Sora clone, well, that's not the case. A door to the truth, huh? So yeah, we have Hollow Bastion. We're starting at Hollow Bastion, which is pretty interesting. We're at floor twelve. Hmm, that's interesting. We're we're already at the top of the top of the castle. And yes, you have to go with Hollow Bastion first. And honestly, Riku's story is a whole lot better than my, in my opinion, than Sora's. Also, this I think um, Riku's story will be a lot more faster to get through. So yeah, Hollow Bastion. This is the third time we've been here. This is Hollow Bastion. What you see is not real. The it's world of your it's a, it's the world of your memory, my memory. This the things you remember from your time in Maleficent's castle become the card, and that card became this world. You've seen everything here before, haven't you? Yeah. So what now? Am I am I going to learn something? Maybe meet someone? You would meet the people in your memories. Ordinarily. What does that mean? Hey, hey, I have a... Hey, I'm, I'm asking you a question. Fine. But it, it better be you I run in, run it in across next, voice. Okay, that was kind of weird to say, not gonna lie. 
But yeah, we're now playing as Riku, which is honestly pretty fun. We got Kia Beginnings. And I want to show off Riku's gameplay. And yes, we know it's Hollow Bastion. We don't need another entrance. In intro for this world. To tell us that something we already know. And yeah, we're going to show off a little bit of Riku's gameplay. You see, his deck is already set. Whenever you enter a world, his deck is already set for you. So yeah, you don't have to worry about anything. And honestly, he controls a lot better than Sora, in my opinion. See what I mean? Trembling Darkness, Sora Riku's AP. Riku's AP. And yeah, honestly, I'm really excited to play as Riku. Except for that moment. We have to wait a little bit. So yeah, I hope you guys are excited. I'm honestly beyond happy I get to play as Riku now. Because he's he plays a whole lot differently than Sora, and I like that. Yeah, we're gonna do another fight. He has his own combos and everything, so it's honestly kind of fun to play as him. If I ever re if I ever decide to like replay this game in my free time, I would just play as Riku. It's just a lot more fun. And also, we're going to do one more. We're going to do one more fight. Yeah, Riku actually levels up a lot faster than Sora, which is honestly pretty nice. So I like how with Riku, he levels up faster, so it doesn't make you feel like, oh, guys, to wait like 50 hours. Old map. You don't have to worry about your card since it's already set for you. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try. I'm gonna try and get him up to like level fifth, level five. There you go. So yeah, uh, that's most of what I want to show for Riku's gameplay right now. We're gonna raise up his HP. And yeah, he has no friend cards, which is actually pretty nice. Uh, I know there's not much commentary, but um, still... It is that we already been through this place all over again, but we're doing it with Riku. So, but yeah, I am excited to play through this game with Riku. Oh yes, we already have a red card. Everyone is. Everyone is just how I remember it. Even this room. It must be nice being back in your old bedroom. Think of all the memories. You again. Sorry, but these memories I could do without. Maleficent gave me this room. So she did. And you lived here. You cast away your home, your friends, everything. But at least you they gave you a nice room. Oh, yeah, that's kind of funny. Stop talking. I actually kind of like that joke. 
Because just like, hey, you got rid of all your friends and stuff, but hey, at least got a nice room. Okay, we need to find a seven. Please give me a seven. Okay, because three is zero. That's even better. With the zero card, boom. Makes it a whole lot easier. So, yeah, this is Castle Oblivion. And great, we are forced to do another fight. But yeah, I, I, I know I said this over and over again, but I still like playing as Riku. It's a lot of fun to play. Okay. Okay, we're doing one more fight. I think in the next episode, we might get through a castle, I know, a Hollow Bastion. The one problem with these enemies is that if you, uh, if they are card... If you hit them, their shield, it will automatically breaks your card, which is kind of stupid. But um, still, um, I, there's a, I understand all that I need to do about Riku. Um, the only reason I'm doing this is because, well, I thought I'd show off the entirety of Reverse Rebirth. A one card. And now we got to move on to the next place. Got a save file right here. Doo -doo -doo. I, I freaking love Hall of Bastion's theme. Let's see what happens when we open this door. What's behind this door, shall we find out? No one's here, either. There's nothing but Heartless in this castle. Superhero landing! Okay, either in this episode or the next episode we'll finish it. I know you're watching, so explain this. Why, where are the people in my, from my memories? Do you want to see them? Of course I do! But you cast them aside. What? You dreamt of the outside world, and you passed through the door of darkness. The door of darkness. Behind you, you left family, friends, home, everything. All in pursuit of darkness. But I cast that aside too. And what do you have to show for it? First your home, then the dark. Your heart only knows how to cast away. Starring Tom Hanks. It's empty, like that room. Like your memories, that's why you don't meet anyone. Your heart is hollow. You're wrong. I rejected the darkness. Ha ha ha. Did you really now? I honestly prefer Riku as a character than Sora. But, uh, yeah, it's time for the boss. Before we fight the boss, I'm just gonna... Before we fight the boss, I want to do one more fight to make sure Riku's like level 5. It's not like Riku's all good to go. There we go. And as before, whenever you hit a Heartless, they are asleep until after you do a card combo on them. And boom, Riku is now level 5. Riku's attack boost. So that's always swell. And now we're going to end off Hollow Bastion. It feels so weird doing Hollow Bastion in one episode. You know what I mean? Because Hollow Bastion is usually like one of the last worlds, but, well, for this game, for this game and the first game anyway. 
And guess who it is? It's Maleficent. I knew you would return, Riku. Maleficent, you're alive? You haven't been you haven't been paying attention? I'm a I'm but a figment of your memory. All of the people I could run into it had to be you. But of course, after all, your heart is steeped in darkness. You could only see those who exist in the same darkness. No. Be grateful you have s someone to keep you company while your heart is empty. We are not for the darkness it contains. You would be completely done. That's sounding pretty good at right about now. Come now. You once turned to me to state your hunger for the dark. You want me here? Who? But I grant you the darkness for long. There, w there was a time I did want you around. I surrendered my heart to darkness. But never again. You and your darkness have nothing to offer. All I did was lose myself. Empty myself. I'm finished with all that. If I'm stuck seeing people like you, people of the dark, I'll take you out one by one. I actually like doing that voice for Riku. I, I, I just really like doing that voice. Then you mustn't forget that to destroy yourself last. For like me, you are one of the dark. Can you just say one of the darkness? That's fine with me. I turned to darkness because my heart was weak. I hate that darkness. That I hate that weakness. It's like my very own enemy. And seeing people like you embrace the darkness just makes it even worse. Enough talk, Maleficent. So you hate the darkness? Oh, the agony you must feel. <gasps> then let me... Then let me and your pain, Riku, end it forever. With the wondrous power of the darkness. And yeah, I wonder what if, he, if she's going to turn into Dragon Maleficent. Oh, she turns herself into Dragon Maleficent. Dull surprise. But don't worry, Riku's fine. We have his 8... He boost his attack. It's kind of weird, honestly. Yeah, but this boss is pretty easy. It is the tutorial boss. And boom, we took down Dragon Maleficent in record Dragon Maleficent in record time, folks. Bye bye, Dragon. Level up. Yeah, actually, the only cards you have to add to Riku's deck are the dragon are the um, enemy cards. Riku's HP. Why is there a flame in the background? But um, yeah, that does it for this um. Wait, 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 wait. Is there a way to climb up the tower? Okay, I guess I got to do one more fight. But yeah, we can always like um, but we're we we're gonna end it off here for today, folks. Um, as soon as I get to like the last room. Oh, dang, I, I, I have the inability to get up there now. Curse you! Okay, can I get up there, please? Well, dang. Okay, well, 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 wait. Why don't you find a place to... Well, dang, this is embarrassing. We fell off by... Oh, oh, okay, there it is, there it is, there it is. This is pretty embarrassing, not gonna lie. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, dang, we were about to hit it. 
I know most of this video is just me finding enemies, but, um, yeah, there's not much to it with Riku's storyline when it comes to the, the worlds. But I think this is the only one that has actual story to it, in terms of, like, the worlds from the first game. I might actually level the grind up off-screen. Just to make sure Riku's OP is all heck. So let's climb up here. Well, I mean... Oh. There you go. Dang it! Let's get this over with real quick. And now, we go through this door, and we are going to end it off here when we climb up this little mount, this little, um, ladder. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was kind of embarrassing, but anyway, guys, we're going to save the game, and then we are going to call it a day. So I hope you guys enjoyed part one of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Reverse Rebirth, and see you all in the next episode. And, uh, yeah, in the next episode, we will continue Reverse Rebirth, and see what happened on with Riku's story. See y'all later and have a great day. Bye.